Hey guys, and welcome back to the FIFA 20 iBar career mode. If you haven't seen the last episode, go watch it, because I'm just about to spoil it by saying we are in 14th place, and 3, 2, 1. We are safe from relegation. The last game we played, I can't remember if it was Sevilla or someone else. I think it was someone else, Leganes. They, uh, a draw against them and a draw against Sevilla, wrapped it up. We are safe for another season. I mean, it should have been a given. I've, I've kind of gone a bit under our expectations this season, but nothing is going wrong in my books. We've still got another couple of seasons to go. This is the last one of this season, so hit the like button if you haven't already, and we'll get into this one. Now, as you can see, we've got three games left against Espanyol, Valladolid, I don't know how you say that, and Villarreal, two of the V sides to end off. I think the highest we can go is like maybe 12th if we look it, 11th if we can beat Espanyol themselves, but I'm not bothered about us placing the league. I've got this team in mind that I'm going to put out, and it's this one that's already selected. Lucky me. It's Dimitrovic, Tejero, Oliveira, Salisu, Cote, Inu, Exposito, Escalante, Oriana, Maya, and Kike. So it's a bit of a tired side, and you might be thinking, why don't you put the youth out? Give the youth a try. Uh, I'm not going to yet. I'm not really... I don't want to finish near the bottom, although we are safe. I might give some uh, youth players a try here and there in the team, but this is the one we're going for. We've played youth all uh, season round as well with Maya, Sainz, and uh, the other one, Salisu, Garcia. And enough about that. We've showed you the team. We're going to try and get a win here against Espanyol. All right, here's the team we're against. Mandanda in net. Steve Mandanda, good keeper. Playing five at the back again with Villa, Calero, Naldo, Espinosa, and Lopez. Naldo, another good player. Granero, Sanchez, and Rocca through the middle. And up front, they've got Wule and Ferreira. Wule, I think it was him who scored like a brace or something against us last time. Played really well. It's going to be hard to keep him out. But if we can get a win here, maybe we can just end the season a bit boosted away from the relegation zone. Good tackle in the middle from Exposito. Can go forward. First time I've touched the ball since kickoff. Oh, nice. Anyway, a little skill pass there. Into the middle. Up there, Maya. Give that quick. Why didn't you lock on to Kike then? We've got a chance, but now they have one killer through ball through the middle and they're away. And then it's a good one too, but I've got to stay with this guy. As he comes through on goal, Salisu misses the tackle and it's 1-0. Of course, of course. Every time we have the ball, they... Although I try and counter-attack all the time, it seems like we're the one getting counter attack now. Wu Lei, the guy I was speaking about, being the danger with the goal. I had to bring the, uh, I think it was Kote, out to the uh, the right winger. And it let Wu Lei run down the middle. Not the right wing, the other forward. I tried to take a red card with Salisu, but it wasn't to be. we one nil down now. Oh, they might have a three on two here. Oh, you've got to turn quicker than that, Exposito. Don't let him play down here. Oh, they've managed to do it. I knew he's not tracking his man. Oh, that's a terrible challenge from Kote. He's chipped it in the middle, though. Tejero's headed it away, but he's got another chance. It's past Dimitrovic. And we got away with a pass back. Exposito to Maya. To Kike. Get that through. Oh, it's a beautiful ball. Maya's in the middle. I mean, two crosses worked to him before, but they haven't worked since. So we're going to go inside with Anui. And I'm going to let Anui release this. It's come off him. Anui's got another chance. And he took a big touch. I was spamming B. Oh, Wule. Oh, we need to be getting them kind of things, like the little footing. We've got to get on the end of them. I'm going to play advantage. We've blocked the first cross. I've slid stupidly. He's put the ball in, and it's a good volley, but it's an even better save, and they've had another shot. Well wide. Got to put a tackle in here. I don't want to go into half-time 2-0 down. They've come back inside. Giving us a chance. Oh, Salis has managed to get in and make a block. Half time. We're 1 0 down. It's, it's been a very end to end game. I'm surprised if the stats show different. And the two. Jesus. It says they've had more of it. I don't think that's true. I think that's a bit of a lie. Going to make changes. Just because his team's that tired. I'm going to take Bravo off. I'm going to take Oliveira, the captain, off for Arbilla. Because he's a bit tired. And I need him for the, the future games. Arbilla's going to take the armband. I'm going to go from there. Oh, that's a good one too. 
And it's a very, very early ball, which Dimitrovic can just pick up on. Goes for the quick throw. It landed straight to them. We need to be better at passing out from the back next season. Really better. Put that through. Eki Bravo to Kike. Oh, and he's been cut out. We're in down the right-hand side. Lopez with a good back heel. I've got too many here. And it's gone straight past Salisu. The whole team's tired. They're going to score here. They've got to score. Brilliant save, but he's given the penalty. I knew as soon as I made the tackle, uh, tackle it's going to give the penalty. Not a red card. Oh, that doesn't deserve a red card. Tejero as well, one of his better right backs. Oh, that's harsh. That is harsh. Granero to step up. Going to dive left. He's going to hit straight down the middle. So the make out of Dimitrovic there. 2 0 down. Oh, it looks like we're going to lose the game. Or oh, it? No one's backing him up. It's a shocking pass. Our billet, drill it to the other side. That's it. Stronger passing. Through to Kike. Gives it to Eki Bravo. He strikes. Can't recreate what he did against Atletico there. That's gone to Our billet. I just realised I said Eki Bravo did it against Atletico. He did it against Athletic Club. As we try to thread that through, it doesn't go through. And they have a lot of players forward, for my liking, as they've just been able to run it. We have got three at the back, though, now. And a tired, fatigued three. They've tried to go straight over the top. It's been cut out. Now we can go. Come on. I've still got faith we can nick a draw if we play as cards right. Oriana cuts back. And that is not playing your cards right. Definitely not. They can come forward at the right-back position, which we do not have a player at. They've just done us in there. Into the middle. We need to get that via closer. They've put it in the box and we need to clear. And we've fallen over each other. And they've managed to get the shot off. We need to improve next season on that. Jeez. Oh, he's done me. Completely done me. Villa to come forward. Wouldn't be surprised if he can make it free. And I don't know what happened there, but they've fluffed it up. Can we get a goal? Pass it inside. Out wide. Ariana. That's a good move as he puts it over. Straight into Mandanda's hands. And wait for it. There we go. Full time whistle. We've lost 2-0 to Espanyol. Uh, yeah, the team were tired. I mean, it doesn't mean anything now. We're just playing for mid-table mediocrity. We move on to Valoya did. Okay, so very different team for this next game against Valoya, Dad, with all the fatigue and everything. Dimitrovic in goal. Daniela Marti, the forgotten man at right back with Vidal, Garcia and Souza all playing at the back. Very young, especially Vidal, who hasn't had much game time. And I think he was just like a panic buy in the first window. Signs on the right with Mari, who's getting his first start, a youth player in CDM, along with Diop, who's retiring at the end of the season. Chupamoteng's going to fill in on left mid with Maya, the only player, along with Dimitrovic, who keeps his place in the team. And Escobar, young Escobar, is up front. Here's the team we're against. Masip in net. I think he is actually a decent goalkeeper as well. Kadar, Baba, Sanchez, and Mbabu. Oh, he's a good player. Sandro, Michel, Aguado, and Schpoff in the middle. And then Guardiola and Plaza up front. Don't think it's Pep's son. Might be wrong, but Mbabu, he's a good player. Oh, the, oh, Vidal stepped up on his debut. Not stepped up as in a good way, as in a bad way, and they've scored. We concede so early all the time. That's come from Vidal. Five minutes into his debut, he stepped up when he shouldn't have. Let the player run, and then didn't even get to the man who was there for the sweaty. Dimitrovic should have done better from that angle, actually. Straight through his legs. We're 1-0 down. Coming forward again. The Valoided. And Babu's got around me. I said he were a good player. He's been tricky. He's got the ball back. He's hit it. And I thought that were in. Is it side netting? Mario Mari. In the middle. That's a good move. Escobar couldn't get on the end of it. And they've come forward straight away. Vidal, that's your man. That is your man. Where are you going? He's been rounded again. It's too easy for him. I think that's Chupamoteng who ended up putting the tackle in. 
Good header. And now we can come forward. Maya, give it back. Oh, that's a good move. Escobar to take it back. Escobar to hit it. And he's put it in the bottom corner. I think that's two in two games for the 18-year-old. Beautiful prospect. And on another start he gets. He scored against the rivals. And he scored again here. Beautiful move. Little back heel as well. Forgot all about that. Maya gives him it back. First time, bottom corner. This kid is going to be something special. Good tackle from Sainz. Can he get on the end of that? Oh, that's beautiful from Borja Sainz. He can come forward. Come on. Someone step off. Maya stepped off. Sainz to whip it to Maya. Maya with the header. It was just a bit too far from him. We can rebuild. We have got the better of them. They are more on the ropes than us. Fred that through to Maya. Turn. Hit that. 2-1 to us. We have turned it around. Love Romaya with another goal. He's an amazing player for us as well. 2-1. Beautiful. We, we didn't score from the chance earlier, but we didn't do bad to receive the ball, go back to come forward. And Maya, beautiful turn. The defender should have got the ball. And he's put it back past her. Masip again, who almost saved it with his head, but didn't as Love Romaya scores. Good play here. Fidal. Mm, he moved forward, but I made him do that. And that's a superb save from our man in the net, Dimitrovic. The expense of a corner, but I don't mind that. I mean, most keepers knock him out for corners. Chupa Moteng, I think he won the header, or it might have been someone else. And now we can break through Lovro Meyer. He's been on form this game. He's keeping on going. Lovro Meyer's gone through him all. He can actually just take a shot here. Lovro Meyer. Oh, and that's a superb save from Massive, but we can hit it again. And it's off the post. Is that Escobar? I think it is. Escobar with his second. Beautiful from Escobar. I didn't even know if that went in to start off with Jordi. Escobar, Meyer ran the whole. That's. that's give credit to Meyer. And he took a touch on the volley. Post and in. Unlucky from Massip again. That was a weird. We had placed a weird position that he did with his foot there. We had positioning. I don't care. We're free. We're not. Vidal. Oh, that's a bouncing ball. It's given him a chance. And they've gone straight through with Plaza. And he's hit the post. Let off again, Vidal, just before half time. And we should be sitting comfortably 3 0. But it's him. It's that guy, uh, Vidal. And did I just see they have had more of the ball? Apparently, they've had more of the ball. I disagree, although as goals have come on the counter-attack. Hopefully, more to come in the second half as well. Michelle to put the ball in. They've won the header, and it's gone to the back post, and Babu scored. First goal I've seen from a corner so far in this uh, La Liga season, in one of the games we've been a part of. And Babu was just lurking at the back post. I want to see this again. He won the header. No one picked him up. 27 I don't know who number 27 is for us, but he should have been following him. And it's 3-2. Lovro Meyer. Can we get a goal straight away as well? We don't. We give the ball away instead. Now they can come forward. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Just stand the players up. I don't know how Mbebo and Babu scored. They're coming forward. Plaza over the top of Marty with a big header. I've only played him twice this season. He's been solid both times. And that's a shoddy pass from their defence to give it to Borja Sainz, who gives it to Maya. Fred that through for Chupo. Chupo, give it back. Oh, that's a shocking pass from you. Garcia with a good tackle on their striker to Sainz, to Maya. Tries to thread it through. We don't want to bottle this now. I mean, they bottled it from 1-0, but we've had a two-goal lead on them. Win that Amati. No, oh, he hasn't done. And they're going to come forward again. Oh, I don't like this. When the team's out of position, because Amati was in the middle. Going to try and chip it. Oh, and I thought I'd give a penalty away there, just because of EA logic. I thought that was going to be a penalty. Maya to chip it over the top straight away on the counter-attack, but it was a, a bit of an ask for Escobar. And now they're going to come forward again. Don't let him put that behind Souza. Souza's got to slide in. It's a good tackle, but... They've come away with the ball. That always happens. Souza with a good ball in. Dimitrovic has managed to get away. It wasn't Souza, sorry. It was on Babu. And we can come away here with Oriana. Signs is on the right. And that's who I want to reach. But I don't think it's going to. So I'm going to give it in the middle to Escobar, who shredded the defender with his turn. It isn't Escobar. It's Charles. Charles! 
for his goal. It's 4-2. I think we beat him 4-2 earlier on in the season. Charles, that's a special goal for him. I think it may be his farewell goal. Like Diop against Athletic Club. That may be his farewell goal. Ch uh, farewell. Farewell. Farewell goal. Oh, Charles. Good finish. Good finish. It's a shame it wasn't Escobar as well. That could have been his hat trick in the last couple of minutes. We've won 4 2 here against Velodid. And he's got a transfer arranged. Although the stats don't suggest we did. We did dominate, in my opinion. 60% possession. I don't know. Who, who makes the stats on FIFA? Okay, so here's the team for the game against Villarreal to cop off the season. And it's a bit of a weak one. I'm not gonna have the, I'm not gonna lie. Zarko in the net for his first appearance, along with Correa. These are just to try and get these uh, players in the uh, shop window for other clubs. Vidal and Burgos, he's in the shop window as well. He's gonna have the captaincy as well. Uh, Souza at left back. Vaz has stepped up from the academy to play at left mid. 60 rate. Let's see what he can do. Because he actually wanted out because he wasn't getting played that much. I hope this guy can turn into a star. Daniel Amati in the midfield with Mari, them two stay, along with Sainz. Eki Bravo in Cam, who's following up Escobar. This is just to see who stays and who goes in the next summer transfer window. Here's the team we're against. Fernandez in the goal. Looks like they're going a bit weaker as well. Alberto Moreno, Torres, Funes, Mori, and Peña with Zambo Aniguisa. I think he's from Fulham. Gomez, Wendell, Carzola and Navas. Wendell we looked at to sign. And Toko Akambi up front. Said they were going a bit weaker. That's only when I saw the goalkeeper. It looks like a bit of a strong side from them. But hopefully his youth can make us proud. Here we go. Starting the match. We've got to be bright. And that's not a bright turn from I think it was Signs. Now they can come forward with a little bit of tiki taka. Oh, I can see we're in with a long game. See, in for the long game with this youth team. Not exciting at all. Right, we, we had to win that. We haven't done. Now they've got it. Santa Carzola, Toko, Akambi. Wendell's tried to put it out wide. We've got to get there. Correa does well, but it falls straight back to him like always. And they've turned Correa. Correa's got the ball now. And we can rebuild. But that's a bit of a, a hospital pass as we give it to a man who was being lent down on. And we are already 1-0 down with this youth team. This is going to be a hard game. These have dominated so far. Toko Akambi is gifted a goal though. They've deserved a goal but not in that fashion. Correa at fault with a pass to Burgos. That's not a good sign. Good pass in here. From the hosts. It's going to be half time. Hopefully they don't score before. Because they have looked like they're threatening. See passes like that. Look skill passes and one twos. I've got no chance with this. Oh we're going into half time. One nil down. I'm guessing the stats will show that they have been all over us. And they do. One shot on target for us. I know it's the youth but we've got to do better. So kick off. Tuck. I'm going to go downfield. Run it a bit. Pass it through to Sainz. Sainz has passed his man. If we can dribble into the box, that would be a good sign. Cut it back. Here, Eki Bravo to hit it. Oh, Eki Bravo! Eki Bravo with his second for Ibar, the youngster off the bench. Actually, no, he isn't off the bench. He started the game. What am I on about? Straight after half time, we made no changes. And Eki Bravo's got his second. I was thinking about selling him as well. I think he's put a transfer request in for next season. If he keeps doing stuff like that, he's going to be contesting with Maya. Beautiful finesse. From Eki Bravo, but it could be cancelled here. Vidal's got to chase his man. They've had the shot. And what a save from Zarco. This keeper's on flames. He's going to make a sub here. Put Escalante on for Amati, who was in the middle. Escalante's missed out on a couple of games, so I will give him a chance. As the corner comes in and Zarco's won it first. Again, but it's a little throw in. And the great. Come on, defence. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. How far apart was Vidal and Burgos? Now it's 2 1. Great. Gotta win that. And we don't. It's fallen to Pedro. Maybe he's come off the bench. Who plays a quick 1 2 and is blasting the bottom corner. It's 3 1. 
Please stop Villarreal. My youth team does not deserve this at all. Here we go. 3-1 down now. It looks like the game's gone. We just don't want to concede anymore as Wendell comes forward. Puts it to the back post. I spoke way too soon. Now we are 4-1 down. Try and put Chalas on for another farewell goal. Coming forward again. 85th minute. We cannot let them score five. The youth team's done themselves proud so far. But that is five. I mean, at least we scored. Wendell with another. His second of the game. <laughs> That's full time. Oh, 5 1. Yep, deserved. Don't want to look at them stats for too long. One reason I didn't want to look at the stats too long is because the season is over. Here's the review we are 15th in the league with 37 points. Barcelona have won it, losing one game. Guess who that was to? Oh, yeah, it was to us. Sevilla just beat the drop by a good five points. No, ten points. What am I on about? I'm looking at below, Dad. 15th. It's a good foundation to build on. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what everyone cares about at the end of the season. It's the roundup time. We're going to see the other leagues and how they've done. Man City are winning the Premier League with 112 points. Unbeaten. Jeez. 12 goals they had scored against them. 12 goals. Man City doing absolute bits in the Premier League. And that's ironic because they might be going down to League 2 if this ban comes through in real life. That's going on now. Norwich uh, come bottom with, 60, uh, with 62 goal difference. I think it was 11 points. Here's the championship for those who want to see. Huddersfield, West Brom and Cardiff all split by two points. In the end, I feel sorry for Cardiff having to play the playoffs when they were in the shadow of winning the league. Leeds in six, Brentford second. Jeez, who's gone down? I want to see who's gone down from the league. QPR, Barnsley and Luton. QPR, the big shock there. And Barnsley only getting 16 points. I thought they'd get more than that. The next best league is League Un. Another unbeaten team in PSG. I kind of expected this a bit more than the Man City. Won 110 points with Monaco. In second, losing one game. Now, that is decent. Um, any other shocks in there? I mean, the goal difference is all... Oh, except the top one. 108 goal difference. Dijon stayed Brestoins and Nimes going down from League 1. Let's have a look at the Bundesliga. Oh, Jesus. Why is everyone unbeaten? Bayern Munich going unbeaten with four draws. That's it. We'll turn them draws into wins. The Bis Centurions, I think. Uh, Leipzig came second, I think. And Paderborn, Union Berlin. And Freiburg going down. I mean, Paderborn only got three points and didn't even win a game. Piemonte, Calcio winning the Serie A, though. That's not uh, surprising. I thought Inter would be closer. It's Napoli, second best, but definitely second best with 12 points behind. Okay, here's the Champions League. Manchester City and PSG in the final. It hasn't been played yet. Oh. Huh. I might, I might tell you next time uh, in the next series who's won it because I'm not going to check. Man City beating Barcelona, though. And the winners of the Copa de España. He was knocked out by Barca with the youth team. Atletico Madrid's won it 4-1 against Villarreal. If only Villarreal would have put the effort in, they did against our youth team. And the Europa League final, Lazio, after beating Chelsea. Whew, I mean, Atletico Madrid did well to beat Man United as well, but that's a shocking final, Lazio in it. And that, guys, brings us to the end. No interesting goal scorers. I'm going to save the game right here, right now. So we've got next season. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more of this series as we go into season two in a couple of days. And I'll see you there in a bit. Peace.